Yo, what is going on guys? It's Hatchets here and today I have a no-nonsense guide as to how to get to really high rounds on Dimashina with ease. So there are prerequisites to this and before we begin the video, I'm going to have to ask everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me on a whole nother level guys and it takes you literally five seconds to do. So now we can begin with the video and the prerequisites to this is that you need the tier three ring of fire unlocked for your specialist ability and you also need to get a ray gun out of the box if you guys cannot get a ray gun out of the box i recommend doing the coffin dance party and doing the little trick where you look at the smiley faces and wait till it basically turns gold and that indicates that a legendary weapon will pop out of it maybe you'll get the ray gun out of that but if you don't i recommend waiting until after round 40 to spin the box as you progress through the rounds you do have a higher chance of getting the ray gun and i found that after round 40 you have the highest chance of getting the ray gun as it's basically a skill based matchmaking thing and the game knows that it's more difficult so you'll basically spin all legendary weapons and your chances of getting the ray gun are way higher so good now that you've got the ray gun you can run to the top of knocked in this exact spot that i'm going to show you guys and basically what you do is just spam the ray gun on the two spawns there's a spawn on the left and then the zombies run along the top of the roof straight at you so you just spam the ray gun at them and you pop the specialist ability which is the ring of fire and this has to be upgraded to tier three with three raw ethereum crystals and basically what this does is makes it a one shot so you can just spam the freaking ray gun like a maniac and just rack up kills and you advance around so fast because basically what you're doing is spawn trapping as there's two spawns on either side and you can also carry monkeys and the chopper gunner the chopper gunner is really a strategy that's used when you get overran so you just pop into it and just completely demolish the zombie waves and you advance rounds really quickly so it's kind of like a panic option where you can take out zombies until the next wave and if you do in fact get overran because you will this strategy is not flawless you do have to keep the door behind you closed so don't open that door or you will ruin the entire strategy by creating another spawn point it's really bad so zombies can come behind you you can't use the strategy so make sure you keep that closed and if you do run into trouble just pop the chopper gunner make sure to shoot underneath the tent area kind of where you are it won't show that zombies are there but they actually are there so you make sure to do that so if you guys enjoyed the video and you found this tip helpful please remember to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one